Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to your glorious hump day Wednesday afternoon, Devo. And this is episode 548, part 2, your days of praise. I mean, your daily bread, Devo. For Wednesday, November 24th, 2021, and the day before Thanksgiving. So today we're going to be talking about the will of God from David H. Roper, derived from Psalm 62. And if you're excited about this one, smash the like button, comment what you like about the Daily Bread, or any other comment, positive, encouraging comment, or question you may have to me. So, about something I've done or said, and I'll respond in my own way. But, Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. And now instead of sharing the video and channel with your family and friends and helping me reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers, I have downed it to 100 subscribers by January the 15th. So let's see if we can hit that mark by the time I get to episode 600. Which episode 600 will be episode 600. <laughs> I've already planned to do both of my both of my devos in that one showing. So. And hopefully I have, I have a bunch more people that will join in and comment. Because I, I, in the past, I think 500, 400 300 and a 200 the last four episodes live episodes that are on the hundred marks I didn't do the first didn't do 100 that way but 200 300 400 500 have all been done live and it and I think and I think 500 I think it was messed up a little bit I believe this the audio or the video control was a little down so I'm sorry for that one if y'all have seen that one yet but but all of them are done live and not one person showed up I thought I, I had a couple couple times I've done them it would pop up it pop up one watching because I was in control and then there that would be few that had it pop up to two or three for a few seconds and then it would go away so there was people out there watching them on those certain ones but then it, they dropped they didn't want to watch it and I guess they got to know like it popped up on their live stream it's like hmm what kind of what kind of live stream is this and they pop in and look look at it like, I don't want to hear him talk just sitting there talking that's all he's doing is talking a lot of people don't want to sit there and watch. They they want they want action. They want something to interest them, and then it just wasn't interested. So, but the will of God from David H. Roper. He says God's will is sometimes hard to follow. He asks us to do the right thing. He calls us to endure hardship without complaining, to love awkward people. To heed the voice inside us that says, You must it, you must it. To take steps we'd rather not take. So we must tell our souls all day long, Hey soul, listen up, be silent, do what Jesus is asking you to do. So my soul waits in silence for God alone. Psalm 62 verse 1 from the NASB. And I believe that stands for New American Standard Bible. I believe. I believe that's what it stands for. My soul waited silence for God alone. Verse 5 from the same version. The verses are similar but different. And David says something about his soul then says something to his soul. Wait in silence addresses a decision and settle state of mind. Wait in silence is David stirring his soul to remember that decision. 
So David determines to live in silence, quiet submission to God's will. This is our calling as well. The thing for which we were created, we will be at peace when we agreed. Not my will, but yours be done. When he said that on the cross. Luke 22, 42. So this is our first and highest calling when we make him Lord and the source of our deepest pleasure. I desire to do your will, the psalmist said in Psalm 40, verse 8. So we must all... We must always ask for God's help, of course, for our hope comes from Him. In verse 5 of verse 62, and above is the whole verse. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. So when we ask for His help, He delivers it. God never asks us to do anything He won't or can't do. Amen? So let's ponder on that with this. When we, when have you thought God's will for you was difficult? And how can you live in quiet submission? Ponder on that by saying this. I may not always understand your will, Father, but I ask for help to submit to it. So teach me to trust your good and faithful character. Give me a submissive heart. Amen? I feel like that camera's way a little bit too far from me. There we go. So your Bible reading for this one is Ezekiel 22 and 23 and 1 Peter chapter 1. So now we're changing books. We had James chapter 5 yesterday and then we move on to 1 Peter 1 today. Because <laughs> if you don't already know, this Daily Bread book has you reading a part of the Old Testament and a part of the New Testament every day. So your Ezekiel 22-23 comes from the Old Testament. Ezekiel comes from the Old Testament and First Peter in the New Testament. So it gives you a, a passage from the Old Testament and pa a passage from the New Testament. It gives you because that way you could do it if you start off doing that in a whole year, you can have the Bible read in a whole year by just reading the old, the part of the Old Testament and the part of the New Testament. Sixty-six books in a year. <laughs> but that's all I have for that. Tomorrow, for your thank, thankful Thursday, Thanksgiving 2021, for Thursday, November 25th, it's going to be a thankful heart in your episode 549 part 2 tomorrow and the thankful heart comes from Bill Crowder which is derived from Colossians 4 2 through 6 so stay tuned for that I'll, a couple days I'll get to that but you'll see that tomorrow so your your two uh, Thanksgiving passages from the day, days of praise and the daily bread. Is your day, days of praise you're going to have fullness of blessing tomorrow. And your days of, um, daily bread you're going to have a thankful heart. So look at that. Blessing. Thankful. Everything in there. Is to do with Thanksgiving. I'm basically going to talk about the Lord's Supper. In your days of praise, I'm just I just happened to skim down. I see some, but a fullness of blessing and a thankful heart for your Thanksgiving Thursday double double feature. And whatever the uh, turning point is going to be, you'll have that Thursday evening. So. You'll have that tomorrow evening. So. But with that said, I love you and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for your turning point later this evening. I love you and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do. And remember, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, people. But with that said, 
Keep on keeping on and trusting God and he'll keep you safe in all you say and do. And until, and until later, peace out everybody and I'll see you later. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday afternoon and come back again tonight for your glorious Wednesday Turning Point Devo. After 7 but before 10. So. But until then, Goodbye.